Now, in this chapter, we are going to learn about various components of the cell, structure and functions of these cell organelles. Cell is the basic unit of life. For unicellular organism, one cell itself is one organism, while for a multicellular organism, one cell is the starting point of life. Understanding the components of the cell as well as structure and functions of the cell organelles helps us to understand various processes happening inside the cell. Process of typical cell fractionation which involved differential centrifugation and isopycnic centrifugation is used for separation and isolation of cell organelles. These organelles are then observed under the microscope by biochemists to understand their structure. These purified organelles are further studied to understand their functions. Cell fractionation is the process used to separate cellular components while preserving individual functions of each component. Differential centrifugation is a method used to separate the different components of a cell on the basis of mass. Isopycnic centrifugation, more correctly termed as equilibrium density gradient centrifugation, is a method where particles are separated on the basis of their density. Dear students, do you know what are various components of the cell? Main components of the cell are cytoplasm, cell wall, cell membrane and different cell organelles. First, we will learn about cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, it is the fluid structure inside the cell membrane in which all the cell organelles lie. It is a homogeneous substance also called as the cytoplasmic matrix. It is the environment of the organelles and the location of many important biochemical processes. It is mainly composed of water, salts and proteins. Water constitutes about 70 to 85 percent by weight of a eukaryotic cell. Thus, a large part of the cytoplasmic matrix is water. Usually matrix pH is around neutrality about pH 6.8 to 7.1. Cytoskeleton of the cell is also the part of the cytoplasm. The cytoskeleton acts to organize and maintain the cell's shape, anchors organelles in place. The eukaryotic cytoskeleton is composed of microfilaments, intermediate filaments and microtubules. Now, we will see the functions of the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm functions to support and suspend organelles and cellular molecules. Many biochemical processes like protein synthesis, glycolysis, etc. occurs in the cytoplasm. It helps to maintain the shape of the cell. Cytoplasm and nucleus inside the cell together is termed as protoplasm. It is considered as the vital component of the cell. Cell wall. It is the outermost layer of the cells of plants, algae and fungi. It is absent in animal cells. It separates the inner contents of the cell from the exterior environment. The compositions of the cell wall usually vary as per the type of organism or the type of the cell. In prokaryotes, the cell wall is made up of two layers. The inner layer is made up of peptidoglycan and outer layer is composed of lipoproteins and lipopolysaccharides. In fungi, it is made up of chitin, a derivative of glucose. The plant cell wall is generally arranged in three layers and composed of carbohydrates like pectin, cellulose, hemicellulose and other smaller amounts of minerals which form a network along with structural proteins to form the cell wall. The three major layers are primary cell wall, the middle lamella, the secondary cell wall. Now we will see the functions of this cell wall. It protects interior cellular components from the external environment. It provides definite shape strength and rigidity to the cell. 
it also helps in preventing water loss from the cell. It protects the protoplasm against mechanical injury. Cell Membrane All living cells are bounded by thin semi-permeable membrane called as cell membrane or plasma membrane. This membrane is primarily composed of phospholipids and proteins and hence typically described as phospholipid bilayer. It is the outermost covering of animal cells. Now we will discuss the functions of the cell membrane. It protects the integrity of the interior cell. It provides support and maintains the shape of the cell. It helps in intake of nutrients and other substances inside the cell and excretion of waste products outside the cell through the balance of endocytosis and exocytosis. The cell membrane also plays an important role in cell signaling and communication. It acts as a selective permeable membrane by allowing the entry of only selected substances into the cell. Summary Cell is the basic unit of life. For unicellular organism, one cell itself is one organism, while for a multicellular organism, one cell is the starting point of life. Process of typical cell fractionation which involved differential centrifugation and isopycnic centrifugation is used for separation and isolation of cell organelles. Main components of the cell are cytoplasm, cell wall, cell membrane and different cell organelles. The plant cell wall is generally arranged in three layers and composed of carbohydrates like pectin, cellulose, hemicellulose and other smaller amounts of minerals which form a network along with structural proteins to form the cell wall.